Hello everyone, just wanted to make a short video to show you um, the latest additions to my World War II British Airborne Force. Uh, so you're looking at a first core product, a radio operator in a Jeep, um, which I bought Oh gosh, I don't know, over a year ago. Like the look of it, needed one um, to supplement what I had already. And uh, very pleased with that. And more recently, I purchased um, all these items from First Core. Um, as you can see, they are um, some parachutes which make a nice little addition to the battlefield and lots of um, uh, pods and containers and so on uh, which would all do as objective markers and so on um, so quite pleased with those particularly the containers the these uh, parachutes I've found a little bit strange um, you don't have to buy the figures that come with them but if you do they don't exactly marry up very well um, as you can see um, I could have I suppose I could have made greater effort to glue it all onto a base and join them up but I kind of lost the enthusiasm as I was painting them and these open parachutes they really lack um, the this, what, I don't know what you call them, like the straps, uh, these things. Um, and I did try and kind of botch up um, some very thin wire, drilled it in, but you, once you've got about 16 of them all drilled into the angles here, and then try and connect them up to this um, end here, it becomes impossible, or be on my skill anyway so um, I just left them like this in the end um, they're still they're still usable as uh, markers and so on and from a distance you can't really tell that there's just thin air between the figure and the parachute um, so that's what I've finished recently but uh, while I had them out I thought I'd show you the rest of my British powers. Um, there's a tetrarch there, anti tank gun. Um, what have we got? Radio operator behind here. This chap here is uh, the freebie that you got with the rules from Warlord. He's carrying a, an injured power. Um, so I put him with the medic. Um, rep he represents a medical orderly. So he can supplement the abilities. This is in the bolt action rules, um, which I don't play anymore. Um, Vickers machine gun there. Um, the reason I don't play it is I kind of I enjoy it, but um, it's a really good, interesting, fun, quick game. But I always I'm I'm a bit of a kind of pedant for rules and rule interpretation, and I found that some of the rules, particularly for buildings, are and line of sight and so on, I found a little bit vague. And um, when you have to kind of negotiate with your opponent every game on how you're going to interpret a sentence in a paragraph, um, it begins to kind of get a little bit tiring. Um, so I was thinking I've purchased some other World War II rules, um, Chain of Command I've heard a lot of good things about, but I've never haven't actually read the rules yet, or got around to playing it. Um, hopefully will soon. And um, <clears throat> another one is Iron Cross from Great Escape Games, which I purchased and again haven't even started to read yet. Uh, I'm waffling and not talking about the figures here. Um, there's one, this guy blowing the bugle, obviously supposed to be Johnny Frost, um, the hunting bugle. I quite like. These figures aren't first call, these are all Warlord, in case you didn't realise. Uh, 
And another thing about bolt action is I hear now there's going to be a second edition. And in a way that's the right thing to do. But what's going to change in the rules? Are there going to be drastic changes? Are there just going to be clarifications of those sort of issues that I had you know, problems with originally? If the rules change a lot, then that definitely puts me off bolt action. Um, because I don't think I don't think you should bring out second edition um, after such a short time. Really, um, it smacks of I don't know what Games Workshop do really, and uh, I don't object to that. But if they are just going to bring out uh, the same set of rules with some um, clarifications, then I'm all in favour of that. I might get back into the game. Um, anyway, that's me on my soapbox. Just thought I'd show you these whilst I had the other other figures out. So thanks for watching, and see you on the next video. Bye for now.